Hello, Sim here. So as you guys can tell from the video title, this is not your typical Sim video. Oh no, it sure isn't. Now I felt compelled to make this video because of, well, as the title says, irresponsible YouTuber behavior. And I'll get onto that in a minute of what I'm talking about. But most YouTubers get into YouTube because they're passionate about the thing they're doing. That could be the latest health and fitness craze, you know, the best type of exercises to tone up and get that six pack or get those lean arms and legs or whatever people are looking for in the fitness world or you know nice you know cooking good healthy food diets and stuff like that fashion photography the latest film critic reviews that type of stuff makeup they're all passionate about it and in my particular case it's gaming specifically call of duty so when we're passionate about stuff we you know we want to i don't want to say spin it but uh, we're passionate when we want to be, we want to stay positive pretty much. Don't want to be too negative. And anything negative we want to be, we're going to be constructive about it. Uh, not just damn right negative, 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 and offer no alternative suggestions and all that sort of stuff. That's what constructive criticism is about. So you'll have constructive reviews. Anyway, so we got that. So it's not all positive 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 all the time although there's certain youtubers out there again who will always be super duper positive about a game for example always and and their credibility starts to come into question because well wait a minute how can you always be positive surely you must be being paid by the publisher but that's a completely different type of video right so on the whole most youtubers get into it because they're passionate uh, and they want to share that positive experience and help you guys enjoy whatever you're looking for in my particular case it's the gaming nice enjoyable gaming experience for call of duty and therefore my lag conversation series is pretty damn popular and that's what my channel has the most sort of views on naturally because other people want to game nicely now in the past of black ops 2 i exposed boosters you know via theater and cheaters and hackers and all that type of jazz and it's like okay these guys are cheating these guys are hacking I'm not going to show you how to go and cheat because I would consider that irresponsible, right? But I will expose them and name and shame them. Now, if you're like me, you want to play a game and enjoy it. So yeah, sure, best classes and stuff like that. Cool, no props. But if I'm going to publish a video that shows you how to cheat, blatantly cheat, and give, you know, you, the cheater, a seriously unfair advantage over everybody else, how is that good for the community? I mean, that to me is irresponsible type of behavior. If I found a serious bug in a game, for example, then the responsible thing is to submit that to the publisher, the developer, on the quiet, so to speak, to allow them to go and fix that security flaw. Or in this case, in the Call of Duty universe, a serious cheating mechanism that, you know, is just going to bring a lot of misery upon the gaming community of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So I was pretty disappointed. I mean, if you're best buddies with Vanderhaar, you're going to have a nice relationship with that particular person. You've got back channels already in place. Uh, you know, you can go and go, oh, create an unlisted YouTube video going, hey, Vanderhaar, I found a serious bug. It allows you to be so, you know, beastly, well not beastly, but give you such an unfair advantage. You need to go and fix this all sort of like pronto. So here it is, go fix it. And uh, so that the Call of Duty world can still enjoy the game. But no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to publish it to the world so you can all go and cheat and bring misery upon the Call of Duty universe in the sense of Black Ops 3. So I was pretty disappointed. Now, typically, you know, if you have this type of security flaw that you find in something, let's imagine that I found a security flaw on the PS4 and by a certain series of keyboard combos, you know, on your controller, that it allowed you to go and access anybody's account on the PSN. I'm just making this up, just giving you an example. If I then went and published a YouTube video on that, that could then just bring hell upon everybody else, that is not a responsible thing to do. Now, what generally happens in the world of, you know, finding security issues, and yes, this is a cheating type issue, so you can go, it's not really the same, but it sort of is. You found a serious problem with the game, or the operating system, Windows, iOS, Android, whatever. You would submit that to the developer, and they would go and fix it. Instead, all this big YouTuber wants to do is make shitloads of money. 
doesn't care about the gaming universe, doesn't care that it's going to bring misery upon other gamers whilst we're still waiting for the game to get fixed. I mean, sure, you can say, okay, now the thing's been fixed, let's say in two weeks' time, post-Christmas, and now me as a YouTuber could then talk about after it's been fixed and go, I found this bug and I helped uh, Treyarch go and fix it. And now I can still get my views, but I've been responsible. But instead, I'm going to be irresponsible, make a video on it, and have, you know, make loads of money whilst bringing misery to the gaming community. And that is what I can consider irresponsible. And I know I'm sounding like a bit of a, uh, a broken record at this point in time. But I want to know what you guys think about this, because when you have other big medium YouTubers, so we have, let's say Massive is the millions and big mediums, the 300,000 type subscribers, who are also then broadcasting it to the world going, hey, it was on the big, big, massive YouTubers channel. So we're now going to do it too and bring misery to everybody else because we're going to run with a certain weapon combination to allow us to cheat like hell. So let me know whether you agree with this irresponsible behavior, i.e. give it a thumbs up if you think it's completely wrong for that type of YouTuber to go and do that and just make money while bringing misery to the gaming universe in the world of Call of Duty. Uh, but if you agree with that big YouTuber doing such a thing, then click the thumbs down button because I really want to know whether you guys really want to experience the pain and misery of having you know, such a massive cheat exploit being used in the game because of a big, massive YouTuber. As always, feel free to drop some comments down below, I really want to know. And to stay in touch with my latest videos, go and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, this has been Sim.